Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mystery Channel 33. I'm here to help solve missing women, shooting, and men cases. So let's begin. This is a Jane Doe, okay? But they title her as a Jeanne Doe. She says she is actually a woman, but they title her as a male, okay? So some of these pictures could be the person that's involved, okay? But her case number is, well, I'm going to say, she want me to say it as a male, okay? 1084, capitalize U-M-O-N, okay? This is how she looks. Okay. Where they found her body at. So we're going to visit the Oz. She wants to come home. Okay. So let's begin. It said artistic windows of the descendant. Shoes found in the scene. Drawing of clothing and shoes. Date of discovery, July the 16th, 1980. Location of discovery, Markham, Ontario, Canada. That's not a real place in Canada. Estimate date of death, one to three years prior. State of remains, skeletal. Cause of death, unknown. Estimate age, 20 to 50 years old. Race, white. Sex, male. Although the descendant may have been a transgender woman. Height, 163 to 172 centimeters, which is 5'4 to 5'7. Weight, 45 to 55 kilograms, which is 99 to 121 pounds. So they could have kept her for a while, okay? Hair color, brown, medium to dark, straight, and four inches long. Eye color, unknown. Distinct with more slash features. Slim build, light, bony, with a poorly developed mass muscular markings. Identifiers, dentals, unknown. Feelings, present. So okay, when they come when it comes to feeling presents, use that it gonna go to the dentist that did it. It's gonna go to the person that did it. So it could be a real dentist or it could have been somebody else. Okay. So the teeth had been missing for some time before death. Okay, but we probably can test the gums, okay? Fingerprints not available, DNA is available. So her family's still around. This she's still around somewhere, okay? Clothing and personal items, clothing. Found in the same vicinity as the remains were the following. Red and possible pink high-heeled shoes with a decorated flap and bow large size. Brillatin jeans, women's size, 30 to 29. Okay. They just gave her anything, okay, to put on. A woman's red shirt and white frilled socks. Jewelry is unknown. Additional personal items. Found in the same vicinity as the remains was the following. A compact containing face powder and mirror. Two green plastic bags with additional items. Okay, green is they could as well, so remember that. And a small bag containing small animal bones. Okay, so we're going to, okay, so they might actually got her bones, okay. They could have been, I don't know, okay. Or they trying to say an animal ate her, okay. Maybe it may since they found her in the woods, in the grass. Maybe an animal did walk up on her and was tasting her. Okay. Um, circumstances of discovery: the descendant skeletal remains were found in a bush area on the east side of the Levitt Concession, one kilometer north of Steeles Avenue in the York region of Markham, Ontario. I'm hearing a farmer define her. The female clothing located in other items found led investigators to believe the descendant was most likely transgender. Okay. I'm hearing I'm hearing she's a woman, okay? The remains and clothing were buried buried at Mount Pleasant Cemetery. So we should shed Mount Pleasant, okay? You know what that is. Investigating agencies, agency name, York Regional Police Service, agency contact person. Homicide and Missing Persons Unit, Detective David McDonald, M-A-C Donald, agency, so you got nothing to do with it, or he know where it's at, know what's going on, 
agency free number my bad so we're going free agency phone number 1866-876-5433 or 905-830-0303 the extension numbers are 7778 three sevens and the eights or 7871 or toll free 1866-823-3334 agency email op dot isb dot resolve apostasy it apostasy just just dot gov dot own dot ca agency case number two zero zero five zero zero six eight information sources is from Ant Ant ontario's missing adults Victoria Wood, Code Case Files, and Canada's Missing, Ontario Provincial Police, GTA's Most Wanted, Original Ed Date, February the 15th, 2008, Admin Notes, Edit, February the 27th, 07, Last Updated, November the 19th, 2018, okay? If y'all like to help with this case, y'all I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of this victim, corporate America will set you up, okay? Set y'all up, okay? Thank y'all and peace, family.